Uh, this is a little purchase from eBay. It's sold as a cathode ray tube, um, but it's just a single pixel from a large display board. It's kind of over-engineered. It's Russian in origin, and I don't understand why they went for an electron gun when a uh, vacuum fluorescent display probably would have done the same kind of job. Anyway, a little look at this. As small cathode rays go, it's not particularly small. There is a smaller cathode ray tube from an early uh, video camera, and even later video camera uses the same kind of construction with a very small CRT with an electron gun assembly as well. This is the defl deflection coils. It's also interesting to compare an ordinary electron gun from a black and white television and you can see the electron gun is fairly sim similar. There are slightly fewer grids but much the same construction. One other interesting thing is this socket is quite unusual but I have seen it before. Here you can see it's the same style of socket used here and this is on a colour CRT. Here we have the uh, electron gun all connected up. You can possibly just make out the glow from the heater. That heater's running at 9 volts as opposed to 6.3, which is supposed to be running at, but it seems to be very dim at 6.3. The output's also very weak. So this is looking at the back of the tube uh, along the electron gun to the, the phosphor in the front. I've got 6 kV on this anode, um, say 9 volts on the heater, and I can adjust the the other grids to 30 volts and you can see we start to see the red spot from the electron beam which can be adjusted to fill all the phosphor screen. You can see it doesn't look particularly bright. I think it's probably been quite well used this tube but if I bring a magnet close to it I can deflect the beam around inside. There you go. Simple demonstration of an electron gun.